Hello, I'm Sharon Wheelis. Welcome to the Cloud Affinity Series, IBM and AWS, Episode 3, Data Lakes. One unique characteristic about data lakes is that they are by nature meant to be hybrid cloud. It does not matter where the data lives. In earlier application environments, we would have had to create a relationship in one database in order to use it in an application. That could have meant deduplication or refactoring of the data. With data lakes, all the data, whether it's structured or unstructured, remains in its original format. Using streaming, ingesting, and analytics, we can query the data to visualize it in any way we need to. The generic architecture for a data lake will look the same regardless of what hyperscaler you're using. I like to divide data lakes into four areas, data sources, ingestion, governance and storage, and analytics. By now, you have probably figured out why data lakes exist. We have various systems of records, systems of engagement or user interfaces, and streaming data that can be batch or internal or external data. The combination of all these types of data sources could lead us to powerful insights about what is happening around us and allow us to make more intelligent decisions. We have multiple hyperscaler options for creating the data lake architecture. Data sources can be from anywhere and be of any type. The purpose of the ingestion layer of the data lake architecture is to ingest raw data into the data lake. There's no data modification in this layer. The ingestion layer can pull data from different external sources like social media, wearable device, IoT devices, and data streaming devices. One of the really good things about this layer is that it can quickly ingest any type of data, no matter what format it is and how it's structured. For example, video streams from security cameras, real-time data from health monitoring devices, all kinds of telemetry data, photographs, videos, and geolocation data from mobile devices. Then, in the next layer, it would interpret that raw data and transform it into structured data sets that are stored in files and tables. The data is denormalized, cleansed, and derived at this stage and it becomes uniform in terms of format, encoding, and data type. This is the layer that would implement business logic and analytical applications to consume the data. Then, once the data is fetched from the data lake, it is in the same layer <clears throat> that it displays to the user for viewing. The output from the queries is normally in the form of reports and dashboards, which make it easy for users to extract insights from the underlying data. So let's sum this up. The mechanics of this hybrid cloud melting pot of information points comes down to these core requirements. A highly scalable distributed file system to manage huge volumes of data, highly scalable data storage systems to store and manage data, real-time data streaming framework to efficiently move data between different systems, tools to run massive and parallel data queries, tools to process and generate huge data sets, a data lake RESTful API, tools to secure the signing, and tools to run advanced and sophisticated analytics. Can you match your data lake requirements to one of these solutions? Mm -hmm.